friends, it's Trisha with Becoming Me. I'm back again with another subscription box. I got Wantables. Never tried it before. I'm about to explore it. There's seven items. I'm very excited. So let's start. We're going to make this speedy, speedy quick. You know how it goes. Oh, new background. This is my, one of my hobby rooms. I do some guitar. I have a spinning wheel over here where I spin my own yarn. Very exciting, I know. All right, I'm a knitter. I do all kinds of things like that. Very fun. All right, but enough of that. Let's try on the outfits. You ready? Let's go. Let's get started right away. You know how I feel about the dolman sleeve situation from my other shirts that I've gotten, but this one I think has alleviated my dolman sleeve aversion. <laughs> I think, maybe. This one's, I don't, this is a large. I don't know if maybe I should have got a medium. It comes down a little bit longer. My dog is right in the way. But it comes down longer. It kind of blouses over. So, you know, you pull it up and then blouse it over. But sometimes when I'm looking back, because I've tried to make this video a couple times and the lighting wasn't right, and I feel like I almost can see, I don't know, unshapely here. That's just my little hang up. So, you tell me. And also these leggings. So I was told by my Cirque daughter to fold the leggings on the bottom because they're a little bit bunchy near the ankles. I noticed that they were called ankle leggings or something like that in the description. So I don't know. I folded them like she said. I'm not sure. They come up pretty high, not, but I think that's how they're supposed to come up. They feel okay, but I'm not sure if they're going to be riding down a lot, you know? So I feel like I've already spent enough time on this, <laughs> you know? Um, but it is soft. It's a soft shirt. It's lighter than uh, another one of the shirts that I had that was a, you know, a Dolman one from another box. It doesn't like really spring back as much as that other shirt did. It's more comfortable. Feels more comfortable. Has a little sheen to it. And um, I don't know. I might be sold on this one. I'm curious how it will wash up. If you've gotten this one before, I think it's the Model. Uh, the Dolman Sleeve Model, I don't know. If you have gotten this one before from Wantables, I'd really appreciate it if you would comment below and let me know how it washed up. That would be very helpful. So, that's it. Two pieces so far. Two down. Five to go. Hold on. Okay, friends. Next up, I put on two more pieces with those leggings that I had on before. I have this sleeveless top and a cardigan. Let's go over the cardigan first. The color on it kind of, it sparks a whole fuzzy bear <laughs> feeling to me. It's the same color, almost the same kind of texture. I don't know if you could see the texture of it, but it's, it's um, almost not, not burly, but you can see that there. That's good to see it right there. So snuggly, definitely has a snuggle factor to it. Factor to it. I get the children in there. Um, Referring to the children that I take care of at work. Oh my goodness. And, but I feel like it might, the more, at first, first glance, I was like, I like this. It's so nice. It's comfortable. It has pockets, split seam, yay, split hem. But then after I've looked at it a couple times now, I'm thinking it really does nothing like flattery for me. It would be nice to be cozy when it's fallish and I'm outside on the playground with the children, but it, it's like typical Trisha. Let's hide myself in something. So, I don't know, do I want to sway away from that? It's my comfort zone. Let's put it that way. All right, so I'm exposing myself too much, literally, in many ways right now. But hey, we're friends, right? Okay, next up is this top here, sleeveless. It does have a little ruffle on the hemline that I'm sure you can kind of see, right? And then it has a tie that can kind of covers and conceals this little keyhole thing here. It has faux buttons, like no purpose except for decorative. They're almost like a shell, a little, um, they look, yeah, like a seashell type thing. It has some nice stitching coming down the um, front here with top stitching along the side. My dog just let himself out. That was funny. Yeah, so paired with the leggings. I mean, it comes down, it hides things, I believe, perhaps. <laughs> so it's very comfortable. The only thing is it does, you know, once in a while, give a glimpse, you know, of some undergarment stuff there, which sometimes can bother me. I don't want to be like that, <laughs> like exposing things. 
I don't want to subject anyone to that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Anyhow, so that was one, two, three, four. We got three more to go. Hang in there. Okay. Up next, we have this dress. Camouflage has interesting kind of V to it. No pockets. Just a basic dress. Maybe it has. Maybe. It has a little shape to it. Maybe it goes in here. I don't think so. And I kind of like that idea that it's not, I don't want it too clingy or tight or anything like that. I think it hangs pretty well. I like this. I'm just on the fence about it. It's cute. Go one more time over here. I think it's cute. I like it. You know, I would, I would wear this. I'd feel comfortable in this. It's funny because I'll tell my coworker, I'll say, oh, let's do fancy Fridays and we'll dress up a little bit on Fridays. And then I don't participate in my own suggestion. <laughs> so maybe this could be a little fancy for me. It's just a little fancy, you know? Let's talk about the jewelry that I'm wearing too. This is a bracelet that I got from Avon. It's called the Pearly Gray, Pearly Gray bracelet. Yeah, I think so. When I first purchased it, I thought that it was going to have silver balls, but it's like, it is really actually pearly gray. I like it. It has a little bit of a, um, adjustable part here. And then I got this ring. It's part of their 1886 line. It's very sparkly, very pretty. And it's sterling silver. I love when they're fine metal. This is costume. This is sterling. Nice. Okay. Whoa, I almost just tripped over my dog. That would have been crazy. All right, so what do we got left? Ooh, I got two more things left that are kind of on the really casual, almost borderline frumpy side. So prepare yourself because they're coming up. Hold on. All right, here's the last pieces that I got. I know it kind of looks funny together, but I just threw it together. Um, Camouflage top falls pretty nice, but it's just a basic tee. But I like it. And it's, I feel like though I could get this at the men's department somewhere. Has an interesting hem on here where it's kind of split. See how it's split there? Surged and then looks like it's sliced. I don't know what that will do in the wash. Jersey doesn't unravel or anything like that, so we'll see what happens with that if I keep it. And uh, there we go. Flate, uh, what am I even saying? Straight edge hem here. No split or anything like that. So I, I think it's meant to be tucked in, or maybe you could tie it a little, put a little knot or something and be kind of fancy like that. Fancy, who am I kidding, right? When I first saw it, I thought it was like those kind that have the little um, gather in the front. Like I've got a gray one that has kind of a gather and it's cut a little bit. Who knows what you're supposed to do with this? Like me trying to be, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to be. And then I got these like jogger um, jean type thing here. A little, let's do a little dance. They come up kind of high. They have pockets on the side, side pockets, elastic gathering all around. They tie, the drawstring is functional, so it'll make it a little bit tighter, because these are size large. I don't know how they're gonna do in the wash, if they're gonna shrink up or not. But you know what I just noticed on these? This is gonna be awkward, but I don't know if you can even see it after all that effort. I lifted my leg up, hold on. I'm, here's what I'm trying to explain. On the bottom, there's an elastic gathering like a jogger would have, but there's a little fine detail of a snap or something. I don't even know if it's functional, because I just saw it when I put it on. So hold on, look. Oh, yeah. It does unsnap, but there really is no purpose to unsnap it because it's not like it's adjustable. There's not like two little ends that it can go on either or, you know, it's the same snap. So now I'm kind of dangling. But yeah, I don't know. I have them pulled up kind of high. I'm going to back up a little bit. You can see how much they bag around the ankle too. But they're comfortable. Like, I'd like to relax and, you know, after work and throw these on and hang out. 
Am I just trying to sell myself on this? Do you, I mean, do you do that too? Is it just me? Hold on. Can you, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me, but can you see how much they bag or not? I don't even know if you can. I don't know if it was in focus or not. This camera's doing all kinds of wiggly waggly things where it wants to focus on everything else. <laughs> so just do your job, camera. Do your job. That's it, though. I have I've tried on all seven. I liked this box. I liked it so much so my Cirque girl came down over the weekend, and I had showed her. I gave her a preview of it, and she liked it. She liked every single piece. She was like, keep it, keep it, keep it. So I've had some time to try it on, take it off, and like keep looking at it again. And I tried to f uh, film a couple of videos upstairs, and it was too dark. So I've been looking at it through different angles, of like through replays of videos and stuff. I'm not sure for certain what I want to keep or not. So I really would like it if you could help me out and let me know down below. Leave me a comment what you would keep, what you wouldn't. Please give me a thumbs up if you would. And subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as one of the subs subscribers here. All right, so <laughs> that's all for now. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>